Hello, I'm Matt Kendrick and welcome to Villa View. Well, Aston Villa's name might be on this cup, but sadly it's no longer on this year's FA Cup following their fifth round exit at Everton. Villa's hopes of making it to the last eight for the first time since they progressed all the way to the final in 2000 came unstuck during a 3-1 defeat to the Toffees. Our man at the Villa, Bill Howell, was at Goodison Park to witness a disappointing afternoon for Martin O'Neill's men. Here's his match in a minute. Another year gone, another year of FA Cup sorrow for Aston Villa. Absolutely gutted by the result and the performance. Well, it wasn't great. It wasn't great at all. Good 20-minute spell in the second half. Chances came and went. Carew, Sidwell especially. And some big chances in the first half. Agbon Lahore, free header, and it went uh, wide off his shoulder. That's the way the, the look goes in the FA Cup. Um, for Aston Villa, it means looking ahead now to a huge game on Wednesday and then a, a probably an even bigger game on Saturday. That's where their uh, aspirations lie now. UEFA Cup, definitely in the uh, in the Premier League. But at the moment, it's just uh, a, a little bit hard to take. Uh, some poor defending, some poor performances. Excellent performance from Stilly and Petrov. But the front two didn't look sharp today. And uh, one or two things didn't work. Curtis Davis's injury problem, that could come back to haunt them. Um, just really disappointing. There was a chance there for Villa to, to really go far again this year, but we seem to be saying that every single time. But uh, not to be, and we'll see how, uh, how Wednesday comes. Well, I'd love to say the darkness of that clip was a deliberate ploy to convey the air of depression in the Claret and Blue camp yesterday afternoon. But sadly, that's not the case. Um, it was because a Jobsworth scout steward decided to boot us out of the ground so we could go out celebrating. But never mind, we still filmed it from, the, from our car in a car park near Stanley Park. Anyway, it's far from doom and gloom for Martin O'Neill's men who are still challenging on two fronts, the UEFA Cup and the Premier League. And the Villa manager tried to remain upbeat when he was asked if Villa's FA Cup elimina elimination could prove to be a blessing in disguise. I think that they'll react very positively. I would expect them to, anyway, because they are—they've uh, got a lot of um, uh, overused word character in the team, and plenty of determination. And, um, and plenty of ability. Can you take this as a blessing in the skies to play less games? Well, it's interesting you should say that because I did actually. It doesn't mask any disappointment today. Really disappointed. And with 15 minutes to go, if you said to me, "Will you give us a draw in the game, an extra fixture?" Remarkably, I would have taken it. I would have taken it because it's the FA Cup, and that's why we went as strong as we possibly could. I'd have taken it. However, in the scheme of things, you might be right. Looking at the message boards, it seems that many of you felt that the tiredness in Martin O'Neill's squad finally caught up with him yesterday. Here's a selection of your views. The first one's from Harry. He says, it was a bad day at the office, but it's the league that matters for me, and the FA Cup was a distraction. I suspect the players are tired. To me, it proved one thing how important Gareth Barry is. If it was up to me, I'd rest some players for the UEFA Cup game to protect them for the Chelsea game. At the end of the day, we lost to a top six side who were totally pumped up after we beat them earlier in the season. I'd be much less happy if it was a league game. Let's hope we can get some of the injured players back soon. And this one is from Kafetzis. We were poor and we were out of a prestigious tournament, but we have to face the facts. Our squad is not strong enough to battle on three fronts. We were tame, but perhaps out of choice. We cannot overexert ourselves and still feel fresh for the weekend against Chelsea. Let's face it, the Premier League is the big picture. No star player is going to join us in the summer because we won the FA Cup. But if, if we can offer them Champions League football, then that's something else. And this final one's from Peter. I'm not so sure you can blame the players because what I witnessed this afternoon was a team on its last legs through tiredness. We were even having to play with players who are clearly not fit. Curtis Davis and John Carew, for example. I think we are witnessing the first signs of burnout, and the one person you have to look for at this, 
the one person you have to blame for this situation is Martin O'Neill. It's his failure to strengthen in January that's now having the effect. I really love the guy and I'm fully behind him, but I think we've blown it. So that's it then. Villa's season's well and truly over. Only kidding. There's a small matter of a UEFA Cup tie against CSKA Moscow on Wednesday night before one of Villa's top four contenders, Chelsea, visit Villa Park for what's sure to be a cracking game on Saturday afternoon. For all the reaction from a massive week for Martin O'Neill's men, tune in next time for Villa View. Goodbye.